In this video, we're going to look at different types of AI, including AGI and why it's theoretical, and who else besides OpenAI is working on AGI. AGI, which is also called theoretical AI, is the type of AI that could perform an intellectual task same as human. Now, artificial superintelligence got on everyone's radar after one of OpenAI's co-founders, Ilya Saskver, left OpenAI and started his own company. And ACI is hypothetical type of AI, meaning that it would surpass human intelligence and abilities in virtually all domains. If we really look at what's real and what could be more a fiction today, the theoretical AI or AGI is based on theory, frameworks, or different models used to draw conclusions. Think about theory of evolution, by natural selection, or Big Bang theory. We have models and math to support those discoveries, but still those are theoretical. Now, on the opposite side, we have hypothetical AI, which is artificial superintelligence. It is based on suggested idea, assumption, or speculation. Analogy here would be time travel, flat earth, and I included God. The interesting thing about religion, we have a whole area of theology studying religion, which depending how you think about, and probably depending if you're religious, the idea of God could fall both on theoretical or hypothetical bucket. Robots can deliver sermons, give advice, Santo, does God exist? And pray with you. It's a bit like Catholic Alexa. So I let you in comments to decide does religion or idea of God, is this hypothetical or theoretical? Now let's look at AGI and why is it more theoretical idea than something tangible and existing right now? So first thing is that there is no true AGI system that matches or surpasses human level intelligence across a wide range of cognitive abilities that has not been developed. Two, and very important, there is lack of consensus and people don't agree what AGI even means. We don't really have fixed agreement what it is and what it means or even how we should look at that. Three, we have significant technical challenges. Achieving general intelligence like humans requires breakthroughs in AI capabilities that are still in early research. I know it feels like we are going at super speed, but it's really, really early. And the thing is that complexity of human brain is not really understood yet. And yet we are saying that we can replicate that. And four is really uncertainty in feasibility and timelines. No expert really agrees when AGI could be achieved. And then of course we have philosophical and ethical discussions. My name is Santo. What brings you here on this beautiful day? So AGI raises profound questions about the nature of intelligence and how do we even define intelligence and where does it emerge from, as well as consciousness. And then we have a whole relationship between machines and humans, robots and stuff like that. The thing is, majority of people associate AGI or artificial superintelligence with really few people. Many people associate AI or AGI with Sam Altman. And you will see later in the video that there are way more companies that are working on that. What you're seeing here is the original co-founding team of OpenAI. But as I mentioned already, Ilya Satskar started the whole new company jumping one step forward and skipping AGI and going into artificial super intelligence. This is the web page that he put together. They are not going to focus on any consumer facing product, but purely focus on safe super intelligence. And the reason this is interesting, because there is this debate that if we achieve AGI, like AI matching human capabilities, how long will it take for us to surpass those capabilities, which would mean that we achieved super intelligence? So in a sense, working for super intelligence and focusing on surpassing human levels is probably a good idea because that gem could happen really quickly. Some experts thinking that it could be in a matter of weeks or maybe months. If you're interested in learning more about AI or large language models, Brilliant, the sponsor of this video, is really where you learn by doing. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analytics, programming, and of course, AI. They have a whole learning path on computer science and programming, which has five different levels and 11 courses in it. Also, one of their new immersive AI workshops is how large language models work. If you're interested to go deeper and learn more in a fun and engaging way, to try everything what Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash gotta go or click the link in the description box below. You will also get 20% off on the annual premium subscription. Now, when we say that we move from this narrow AI and 
we move way beyond large language models and we enter AGI. The thing is, as I mentioned, no expert agrees what it means. And when you hear these billionaires or tech entrepreneurs talking that AGI is around the corner or it's in the next few years, we can look at what actually majority and experts working on machine learning or AI, what they say. It's really conservative, but also kind of consistent. Majority of experts from 2022 study where they interviewed 738 experts, they gave 50% chance that we are going to achieve AGI in 20. 59. That's not few years ahead as many tech billionaires would make you feel. And the thing is that branding is everything. These are the leading organizations working on AGI or artificial super intelligence. So, you know, OpenAI, we have DeepMind acquired by Google. We have Anthropic, which gave us Claude model, one of probably most capable models today. And then we have all the tech giants, which is Google, Microsoft, Meta, putting significant efforts into the research of AI. But we also have other smaller organizations that are working on AGI that probably you don't hear about. I just pulled up a small list of some. You can pause the video and check them out. I think the main message what I'm trying to convey is that there's so much confusion about AI and what it means. And it's being associated with just this one narrow area of large language models and associated with this few people in a world. We are not even talking what is China doing or other countries who are also working and putting significant efforts into advancing this field. Fun fact, in China, there are way more patents submitted on projects covering AI and very few models being publicly released. We just simply don't know what's coming and what other companies are working on. So don't associate the whole field of AI with either one term or one area of artificial intelligence. And maybe don't associate with one person or one company that are the loudest.